Welcome to Jobbed Out, the wrestling editorial that reminds you why the WWE needs to stick to celebrities at WrestleMania only. Yes, the video is coming. I just couldn't resist talking about this. I mean, it's the only time I might actually be interested in talking about Rob Gronkowski. So a couple weeks ago, a ton of talents were released or furloughed by the WWE. Furloughed, for those who don't know, is like an unpaid suspension. Their contract is frozen but not voided, and it will resume uh, eventually. But for now, they sit at home as if they've got no job. And if they want to come back, they better not go anywhere else. It's like somebody in the WWE boardrooms asked the question, how do we come up with something worse than the 90-day no-compete clause? Anyway, that day we heard nearly three dozen names released, and it turns out dozens more NXT names, developmentals, office staff, much more were also let go. Literally too many to name. And with all that, we're still hearing new names added to the pile, including Gerald Briscoe and Cassius Ono. But I want to talk about two other names here that seem to be coming from other circumstances and may have just been the WWE wasting time and money. The first, Rob Gronkowski. You remember him? What a doofus. The current WWE 24-7 champion decided, I miss football, and came out of retirement, resuming his contract with the New England Patriots and technically not violating his WWE performer's contract in the process. He was promptly traded to Tampa Bay to reunite with Tom Brady. All eyes on Now I know what you're saying, he wasn't released, and technically, you're right. But, he's got the Pac-Man Jones rule in his NFL contract. That being, he isn't allowed to do anything physical for other companies that could risk his health. Or more realistically, risk his ability to play football. Go ahead with your bad self, with your bad self, with your bad self. I'm a girl with my bad self, with my bad self, with my bad self. Go ahead with your bad self, with your bad self, with your bad self. And that means his WWE deal is pointless. Since he's currently a champion, he's gonna have to lose it somehow. And my bet is he's either pinned off screen or while sleeping by somebody who can lose the title to a WWE superstar. Have you ever heard of the Iron Man heavy metal weight title? No? It's DDT Japan's 24-7 championship. And here is current AEW announcer Excalibur losing it to current AEW referee Rick Knox before being pinned by current AEW star Matt Jackson. This was four years ago. So basically, consider Gronk's contract with the WWE null and void. Or at the very least, furloughed. But hey, here's Gronk dancing like an idiot to some other wrestlers' theme songs. not the big news though, believe me, the guy never is. The big news took place this morning when a former UFC fighter who actually had a ton of potential was announced to have been released. Cain Velasquez took advantage of the word that basically almost anybody who asks for their release right now can have it. Velasquez's career consisted of him showing up on the debut episode of Smackdown on Fox, losing to Brock Lesnar in Saudi Arabia, and that's pretty much it. Even before this, he had like two matches in AAA. Don't get me wrong, he's very, very, very good for a rookie. He's taking to wrestling like a fish is taking to water. But he's not ready for the WWE, and frankly, he and Gronk could have just signed that kind of deal that Lawrence Taylor or Floyd Mayweather had. You know, the one-off. But now the company, who's already been eating a ton of bad press, looks even dumber for trying to throw long-term money at celebrity one-shots. <sighs> That's just my opinion though. So what do you think of the releases of Rob Gronkowski and Cain Velasquez? I would ask for your favorite moments, but I mean, they each had one. So be sure to subscribe because I want you to be a part of the conversation too. For now though, I better get my shoulders off the mat. So thank you for tuning in to Jobbed Out. I'll catch you next, ah oh, crap. I gotta go get that next porn video out. Not like that. Why are you still listening? Click on one of the links already.